because when I roll up at a skate park, age doesn't really seem to matter. And I'm in my 50s, nobody's bothered, I'm just a skater. Inspired by watching his son's exploits on the board here in Leeds, Josh describes himself as a later skater. He's one of a reportedly growing number of Generation Xers taking up the sport, and it's proving good for body, mind and soul. I get a sense of freedom, um, a sense of enjoyment, um, and it does, it, it lifts me. It kind of, it can, it can take you out of a dark place. Is it a sport? Is it an art? Is it a way of life? I'm not really interested, I just like doing it. <laughs> Given a popularity boost by its Olympic debut, with success for GB's young Sky Brown, skateboarding is riding high in a cross-generational way. Mum and daughter Esther and Connie are on their learning curve together. Physically, it's made me loads stronger, fitter. I lost a stone in weight when I started skateboarding. Emotionally, Learning to fail, learning to be resilient, learning to get up again and keep going even when it's difficult has been incredibly beneficial to me. When we skate together, we can improve together and I think it's very like it, it's good for parents to get involved with their kids and create a bond together while skateboarding. For many families, lockdown meant a hunt for new sporting hobbies and that meant some beneficial lateral thinking. In later life, being able to find really cool sports that work for you and really get you excited can be such a buzz because you get the great side from the well-being, but you also find your thing, you find a new lease of life, you get a sense of belonging to this whole new group of people. It can be really enlightening. So to those of a certain age thinking new year, new sport, new you, maybe it's time to get on board. Peter Lane, 5 News, Leeds.